Hello everybody, Mark 5 Mondeo once again. This is a 65 plate, 2 litre diesel. We've got an airbag problem. You'll put the ignition on, the airbag light will come on, go out when it does its self test, and then it will come back on again, and it will bring up a fault code. Now, I've had this problem numerous times now on these cars. It seems to be a common fault, so that's why I'm gonna highlight it today. But here's what the fault code reads. Passenger side airbag, deployment control, circuit open, current DTC, warning lamp on. Well, yes, the bloody warning lamp is on. Anyway, like I said, we've already found this fault on previous cars we've done. So what I'm gonna do, you can do it with a seat in the car. It's underneath the passenger seat one. I'm gonna take the seat out so you can see it a lot easier. Then I'm gonna fix it put the seat back in and the job done. So if you get this problem, you won't have to mess around, you'll know exactly what it is. I push the passenger front seat forward all the way and you, you will then see like there's two Torx 55 bolts, one either side, you've got to undo them. I'm just going to push the seat all the way back now. There will be a blanking plug either side and these are actually Torx 50s. So I'm going to get both of them out. Then we can put our Torx 50 there. Fancy having different size bolts holding the flipping seat in. Anyway, I'm going to get these two bolts out. With our four seat bolts out, there's this great big plug connector. You've got to like push the clips in and pull the lever back. Then you can separate this connector, okay? It will also be held in by a little plastic popper. So you get a trim tool and remove that wiring out of the way. I think my light is dying. Now there's nothing else holding the seat in. So I can lift the seat out and I'll show you exactly what the problem is. So you have one yellow connector under here and this is the offending wiring. Just here, and I, I actually I had to cut the sheaving back and pull the wire out for it to actually see the brake because they looked okay to start with but that yellow and black is completely snapped so there you go so what I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna pull the sheaving off this little bit that's left and this one and I'm gonna put some solder on it and I'm gonna solder the wires back together and then tape them up nice and securely. Right, this is how I'm gonna go about this. Using the soldering iron, I'm gonna tin the wires, and then I've got some shrink tube here, which I'm gonna slide over there, and once these are wires are soldered back together, I shall slide the shrink tube over, shrink it over the joint to seal it so there's no bare wire, and then I'll tape it up. That sounds like a plan. So the shrink tube's on, it's all soldered up. I've taped it all up as well. And now I'm just gonna sort of like run the tape around both wires, make sure they're both secure. Hopefully they won't move about too much and everything will be good. There, good as new. Right, jobs are good and pop the connector back in, pull the tab over, and clip it back into the locator in the seat. Bingo. Okay, the seat's all bolted back in, all nice and secure. All the wires underneath the seat are all clipped in where they're supposed to be. Now is the time of truth. Will the, air, will the airbag light stay out? And will we be able to clear the code? Let's find out. Right. Airbag light on. It goes out. It should stay out. If I start the engine, No airbag light, brilliant. 
So now, if I come out of this, clear codes, I have to turn the engine off for five seconds then switch it back on. What that matters, I don't know. Okay. Is our code gone? It bloody ought to be. Yay, no codes. Woo! Well, that's another bloody job done. Scanner off. I'm going home now. But anyway, yeah. That is becoming a really common fault on the airbag side of things on these Mark 5 Mondeos. About six or seven times it's happened now. I know these are all high mileage cars and they're taxis, people getting in and out of time. The seats are going backwards and forwards, the wires get bloody stressed and break. Anyway, should you come across that problem, you will now know what it is. So anyway guys, till the next time, see ya.